Welcome. You reserved a permit in the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness. Whether this is your first or 50th trip, you're sure to enjoy this unique wilderness area. The 1964 Wilderness Act created the National Wilderness Preservation System and included the Boundary Waters. The 1978 BWCAW Act added more acreage and specific management direction. There are now 765 wilderness areas across the country, totaling 110 million acres. The Boundary Waters is a part of the Superior National Forest and is managed by the U.S. Forest Service. As you're planning your trip, keep in mind the skill level and experience of everyone in your group. Inclement weather, fast water, high winds, and difficult portages can be challenging for even experienced paddlers. Allow plenty of time for loading, unloading, paddling, and finding a campsite. Each permitted group in the Boundary Waters is limited to nine people and four watercraft. That includes paddle boards and kayaks. When traveling in the Boundary Waters, you're required to stay at a designated campsite with a fire grate and a latrine. Make sure you have up-to-date maps that show current entry points, campsites, and portages. You must be aware of designated motor areas and horsepower limits if you travel with a boat motor. Keep alternative routes in mind in the rare event you encounter wildfire, windstorm, illness or injury and need to change plans. Make sure friends or family understand you may be delayed, won't have cell service and to not panic prematurely about your arrival time. Make sure everyone in your group has what they need but won't be bringing more than is required to have an enjoyable experience. Limit the number and size of your tents and hammocks to reduce the impact on trees and surrounding vegetation. With over 150,000 people visiting the Boundary Waters each year, it's crucial that we all do our part to protect this unique place for generations to come. Check out the Boundary Waters Trip Planning Guide and our website, where you'll find a template to fill out your trip itinerary that you can give to your friends and family who are staying home. Share this video with the other members of your group using the link below so that everyone knows what to expect. We'll send you another video just a few days before your trip with additional suggestions and reminders. Happy trip planning! Hello again. Your Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness Trip is quickly approaching. Make sure to go over your itinerary and emergency plan with a friend or family member who's staying home. They need to know where you're going, when you plan on returning, and what to do in the event you don't return on time. High winds, extreme weather, or other travel conditions can delay return plans. Make sure everyone in your group shares the itinerary with their emergency contacts. Consider a planning and packing party with your group to go over routes and meal plans. This can be a perfect opportunity to check, inspect, and consolidate your gear. Make sure your group has only what is needed. Leave behind unnecessary gear, lighten your load, and it'll be much easier to travel. Consolidate the gear into fewer packs to reduce the risk of leaving something at campsites, entry points, and portages. Remember, cans and glass bottles are not allowed, so pack your food in reusable containers to reduce the amount of garbage you'll need to pack out. Leave the coolers at home. They're easy targets for hungry wildlife and are difficult to carry and hang from trees. Be prepared to store your food correctly in camp. A couple of long ropes with a pulley and a pack or bear resistant containers will help keep your group, your food, and your camping equipment safe. It also helps protect wildlife such as black bears and pine martens from getting used to consuming human food, which will make them sick. Let's keep the wildlife wild. Bring a camp stove so you don't have to rely on fires for cooking in the event of a fire ban. If you plan on fishing, help stop the spread of invasive species by considering the use of artificial bait. Each year we are asked to evacuate individuals from the wilderness. Help us limit these rescues by being prepared for your trip. Make sure you've got an adequate supply of medications, and if you plan on bringing a satellite phone or similar device, test it and train your group on how to use it before departing. You wouldn't want to be responsible for an unwarranted search and rescue operation. You'll be traveling in a federally designated wilderness area where mechanized equipment and motors, with the exception of select lakes, are not allowed. Equipment like chainsaws, generators, and drones are prohibited in the Boundary Waters. If you plan on bringing a firearm, make sure to review all state and forest service regulations. See the trip planner for details. Check the business hours of the ranger station or outfitter where you'll be issued your permit. You can pick it up the day before or the day of your entry into the Boundary Waters. Your permit is only valid for the entry day and entry point specified on the permit. 
Share this video as well as the trip planning guide with the rest of your group. We'll cover the next round of topics when you pick up your permit in our final video. Thanks for watching. Welcome to the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness. You're heading into an area free from technology and modern conveniences. Make sure you've got a current map and a compass. Don't depend on a GPS. Cell service is rare in the wilderness, so mobile devices are unreliable. Be ready to be self-sufficient. The Boundary Waters is a quiet place, but noise travels easily across the water. Keep your voices down when you're on the water and elsewhere to increase your chances of seeing wildlife and to ensure you don't disturb other visitors' experience. The nine-person for watercraft rule applies at all times. Be courteous and allow others to move on before approaching portages and other high-use areas such as waterfalls and vistas. Remember, you must camp at a designated campsite. Once you choose your campsite, place tents in areas that have already been impacted. Don't cut or trample live vegetation to make a new space. Stay on established paths to help prevent erosion. Please don't remove natural, cultural, or historic artifacts. If you have a campfire, only collect dead and downed firewood. Dry, wrist size, and smaller wood burns easier and more completely. Only use birch bark from trees you find on the ground, and never peel birch bark from a standing tree. Gather firewood away from the lakeshore, campsites, and portages. Fires are only allowed in fire grates at designated campsites. Small campfires require less wood and are more easily extinguished. Never leave a campfire unattended. Before going to bed or leaving camp, always douse the fire with plenty of water. Stir the water into the ground to make sure there are no embers. You don't want to be responsible for starting a wildfire in the wilderness. Wildlife depends on unpolluted water to survive, and the Boundary Waters is home to some of the cleanest water in the world. Let's keep it that way by doing dishes at least 200 feet away from shorelines and streams. Never wash dishes or yourself in the lake, not even with biodegradable soap. Avoid swimming if you've recently applied sunscreen or bug spray. Clean fish away from designated campsites or portages and leave the remains inland at least 60 feet covered with leaf litter or rocks. Don't leave fish remains for wildlife to scavenge in the water or anywhere near a latrine. Bring garbage bags to pack out all of your trash or any other trash you may find. Never place food or garbage in the latrine, including bandages, diapers, women's products, or wipes. Burning trash, including food, paper products, cigarette butts, and tin foil, harms air and water quality. Releasing unused bait into the water is also prohibited. Before leaving, check the campsite again for small pieces of trash. If you packed it in, you have to pack it out. Never leave food unattended in camp or other scented items in your tent at any time. Doing so can attract bears and encourage unnatural populations of some species. Make sure you have a bear resisting container or bear ropes to store your food. Take one last look at the current weather conditions and forecasts before you leave and ask your ranger or outfitter if there are any fire restrictions, wildfires, or bear activity in the area. Reach out to your emergency contacts as soon as possible once you've completed your trip to let them know you're safe. Thousands of people visit the Boundary Waters Canoe Area Wilderness each year. Reduce your impact by following these important guidelines. Have a great trip.